play for most of our teams is right around the corner, and that, mean, that means that these games just mean more and more with each passing week. To close out their non-region schedules, the North Augusta Yellow Jackets and the Strom Thurmond Rebels are going head-to-head -head in our Under the Lights Game of the Week. News 12's Alyssa Lyons joins us live once again from North Augusta High School, ahead of a game North Augusta fans have been waiting for since week one. And they're finally starting to show up, Dan. I think everybody from that 5.30 PSA finally got the memo. The Rebs have officially arrived and are now just getting their gear on, ready to take those first reps before game time officially hits. It's no shocker that this was the matchup that everybody wanted to see. Even the players agree. I was talking to North Augusta earlier, and they were saying that they were trying to keep their guys off of social media to quiet the noise surrounding this matchup. He knows there's a lot of hype surrounding this game. They've been working towards it since week one, dialing it in the weight room, ready for what Tillman calls is the revenge game. They haven't won since 2018. Mind you, they haven't played the Rebs in 2020 and 2021. The last time they played, it was a low-scoring affair, just 20 on the board between the two last year. It was a defensive battle. This year, they're prepared for it to be just the same. You know, film, their defense is really good. Give their cornerbacks a lot of, a lot of uh, talent and um, a lot of great things they have there. Um, coming, to, They have run a lot of men, so take advantage of that. When it's a guy in front of you getting out there, we already seen this all week. It's nothing new to us. We're going to get out of him just like how he's getting out to us. It was very valuable for the defense. They can feel kind of secure. But we've all but the competition during practice, we're always trying to get each other better. So we're not really paying attention on which side is really better. We're always trying to beat each other. Well, we'll see how it all plays off when kickoff starts at 730. I'll post game reaction coming up all new on News 12 at 11. Thank you, Alyssa. The Jackets haven't played at home since week one, as you alluded to there, so they'll be certainly having their hands full with the Rebels tonight in a great game.